With only four games under his belt, the stat sheet stuffer has everyone in the NBA watching game film. In this current game film, he's going up against the Philadelphia 76ers, but there's one thing you need to know. This game film is being watched in Charlotte at this moment. The entire Bobcat staff has come out, and they are shining the light on Michael Kidd Gilchrist to actually stop the problem of the stat sheet stuffer. In other news, there has been a leaked interview with Michael Jordan himself, and we have it here for you first. So let's take a listen to it, guys. I cross a lot of boundaries, different than most owners. You know, and I want to use that to my advantage if I can. But uh, you know, I'm gonna have fun. You know, a lot of people have questioned my participation from a basketball sense with the players. Yeah, you know, I'm in a unique situation. I'm an owner that played in the league. I'm an owner that has a strong passion for the game of basketball. If they can get a certain relaxation, the type of owner I want to be is I want them to say, you know, I enjoy hanging around with MJ. They can call me MJ. They don't have to call me boss. You know, but I want them to ask me for advice. I want to be able to contribute some type of knowledge to our young players. My playing days are over with. We about to take this thing to the next level, baby. Come on now, let's get fired up. Here we go. Yo, what's going on everybody? It's South by King Carter here, the Superman of YouTube. And I want to welcome you guys to episode 8. I have a feeling that Michael Jordan won't be able to help these guys at all, so let's get into the game. Now as soon as I step on the court, I already give Anthony Davis the head nod. I told him let the games begin. So he gives me the ball off the inbound and I already have the one on one matchup I've been looking for all week. I take Michael Kidd Gilchrist to the lane, easy layup. I am just want to let this guy know I'm not the same person from the Rookie Showcase. I'm a lot faster, I have more moves, I'm more athletic, and I'm a better scorer. Now, after a few possessions, you guys can see it here, I have six points. And where is Michael Kidd Gilchrist? Yes, Michael Jordan came down, stepped on the floor, and told the coach to take Michael Kidd Gilchrist out of the game. Now, as it goes for me, I'm doing what I need to do. I'm still staying aggressive, even though I missed that dunk. Come on, I got highlight film and posterizer. What else can you ask for? You're asking to miss dunks. But Kemba Walker does what he does, go in for the solo layup. But coming down on offense, I'm just trying to do what I need to do, man. So I'm setting picks. I'm letting Austin Rivers know, hey, man, I respect your game. And I'm just trying to let you get to the lane. So he pulls up for the jump shot. Even though it's not on, they get the rebound, but I get the cookies. Now, on this possession, check out the spin move game. They try to come for the double team, but I spin out of that, and I rise on that man. I just put my balls all up in his face. Look at that. Taste him. Go ahead. Taste him. The ball even hit him in the face. But it's all good, man. And I'm doing a Gilbert Arenas little point in the finger. But I just want to show you guys that I do have a little bit more to my offense than just scoring. So I'm going to start going for assists. Now on this play, I try to run a little pick and roll with my boy. You see the double team coming. So Anthony Davis just rises on him for the nice stand-up dunk. And you know he got them Nikes on, man. So he getting that vertical going. 27.3, that's pretty good. But let's jump into halftime. Here goes the score right here, guys. 48 to 43. It's a good game. I like, I like the simple fact that when you play on Hall of Fame that teams like the Charlotte Bobcats can keep up with you. But let's get into halftime, y'all. I'm going to see y'all after that. Now, presented by Sprint. The weekend is finally upon us, and on this Friday night, it's time for the halftime show. A strong first half for the Hornets. Off to a good start here in the early going of the season, playing above 500. They've been having their way inside. A huge lead when it comes to points in the paint, making it very hard to defend against them. The first half performance by Eric Gordon, just terrific. He's got 13 points and has been very efficient, converting his shots into points with a nice field goal percentage. And the Bobcats have been plugging away. Their second unit giving them instant offense. They've gone to their bench for scoring, and they've answered the call. Kemba Walker making his presence felt early. After two, he's got 10 points, and he's been able to provide some nice assists as well. Now, we all know the third quarter is not my strongest quarter for minutes, so they let me into the game with about seven minutes left. After I took the jump shot, I was kind of pissed off, so I decided to go right at Kemba Walker's head. Now, you check out the hustle, man. You can already tell here, but check me out trying to cheese, trying to go for the jump shot off the ground. Now, of course, they gave me a bad shot selection, so on this possession, they sub me right right out you know what I'm saying the coach was like yo you ain't doing the right things but as soon as he let me back in the game I noticed that Charlotte was starting to come back so let's see what we can do in the fourth quarter here y'all 
Hello and thanks for joining us, folks. The fourth quarter of play should begin momentarily. Now, let's check in with Doris Burke for the Sprite Uncontainable Game. Doris? Hi, guys. The Machine has had an uncontainable game tonight. Energy, passion, key plays. He's provided all of them from the bench and done everything you could have asked for a reserve. We'll see what else he can do in the fourth. Great, Doris. Thanks. And when you look at that textbook contribution, guys, coming from one of your reserves, he really fit that definition here tonight. Yeah, he's really been the X factor in this game. You know, to be honest. Now, I just wanted to say I respect Coach for his in-game decision to make me start the fourth quarter, but he told me that it came at a price. He let me know that he knew I could score. He knew that I could put points on the board, but I had to do more. He told me that I had to start living up to my name. So right here, I see my boy Lopez cut into the paint, and I hit him for the nice assist. It's time for me to actually stuff the stat sheet. I have to start living up to that name. I know you guys seen in my last video on my breakout game, I barely had any assists. But right here, I'm going in for a nice little layup, and I missed the layup, which totally pissed me off, man. But one thing I will say, man, Kimball Walker did not let up. He came down and put Vasquez on all types of skates right there with that nice move. I guess MJ taught him that move. I don't know, but we will see. Now, in the next possession, oh, man, let me just tell you this now. I'm trying everything. I'm trying to run my offensive objectives all that I can. Now, right here, I'm putting the team on Anthony Davis' back. I'm actually giving him an, a nice little layup, my assist, of course. But what I will say, I have to start trusting my teammates more. If I want to win games, I got to trust that my teammates can play defense. I have to trust that they can play offense. Now, check out this play right here. Anthony Davis goes in and almost tries to kill Thomas while he went up for the layup. Now, here's where we can actually put the game at ease. Now, it's 93-91. I'm running a nice little isolation play, clearing it out, and I hit him with a nice between-the-leg move for the slam. Now, that right there tells you everything about the stat sheet stuffer. He has the great isolation game, but I just need to believe in my teammates more. Now, after Kemba Walker got his fifth personal foul, the coach decided to sit me down and let me watch as my team got the win. But one thing I will say, if MJ put any money on his game, and which he probably did, you know he's one of those gambling types, he just lost that bet. But it looks like Michael Kidd, Gilchrist, and the Charlotte Bobcats couldn't live up to the stat sheet stuffer. They couldn't live up to the challenge, and we just came out with the win, man. It was a great game. But I did take a little pop shot to MJ after the press conference, so you guys definitely want to hear that. But let's get into the KC song, They Can't Hold Me. This track is crazy, man. Let's get into it, y'all. Since I was a youngin', I've been on the scene. Jump shot me, they call me the machine. I'm cranking out jumpers whenever I want it. Uh, shake the game, baby. You can call me Thunder. I'm a beast, though. Just let me feast, though. Feel like I'm ballin' by myself. This is a free throw. I'm lethal. I steal your possession like it was mine. Debo, you throwing up bricks anyway. Home Depot, I do it my way. Carlito on South Beach, chillin' so hard. I'm putting out the heat, though. I got no equal. Hey, I'm a hunter, but I pray like Tebow. I'm on fire, and they ice cold Eskimos I cook a hater like potatoes, never let them stress me out Fumble through the playbook while the trainer stretch me out Grab the rock and then we out, boy you I grab the rebound Put it back, big dog, they be like me out High velocity, LeBron ain't stopping me KD can't see me while he watching me Obstacles, obstacles, bring New Orleans back That's a fact, it ain't no probably, I'm sick with it You can go and let the doctor see the best up in my class When I was at Nova, they used to say I'm in my bag at me now, boy, that's exactly where I'm at. 87 on my back, take it way past the max. TJ, replay, I took it to the rack. Ain't nobody hot as me, ain't nobody stopping me. Double team, triple team, they need they hoes squad for me. Ain't nobody hot as me, ain't nobody stopping me. Double team, triple team, they need they hoes squad for me. You picked up 27 points tonight. A lot of offense coming from you in this win. How do you feel about how you were scoring? Uh, it felt good. Because I think it shows just how we were playing as a team. I knew that if I kept in motion and had an eye for the basket, my teammates would find me. And that's exactly what happened. It's a lot easier and a lot more fun to play team ball with everyone passing and cutting than just doing isolations all game. And this win shows what we can be when we work as a unit. You feel me? Hold up, hold up, hold up. That's what we doing, MJ? After I just destroyed your team, after I just put up numbers on your team, you gonna try to sign me? How you gonna just try to dig in my pockets? Nah, man, nah, man, I'm going with Nike. 
I'm sorry, MJ, man. You had your whole team scouting reports. You had the whole NBA talking about Michael K. Girl Chris was going to lock me down. Come on, can't nobody hold me? What's wrong with you? But right here, guys, we're looking at the 2K Sports Magazine. It's time to show me on the cover. Chew on this. David Carter is the future of the NBA. Look at the jersey number, number 87. Yes, that was the year I was born. You guys got to get in. And you got to get in check, man. You got to get familiar. But I got my Nike welcome letter. Hopefully, I get my shoe in the middle of the season. But this is IKC signing out. Peace.